y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I share all about my making adventures. Today I have a lot of knitting to share with you. Just knitting today. I have some finished objects, works in progress, something that arrived in the mail, some exciting life stuff that we will get into later at the end of the episode if you decide to stick around for that. So let me grab my notes here because I have not even gotten those out. Feeling a little all over the place this morning. You'll find out why in life stuff. If you follow me on Instagram or you're part of the membership, you already know, but we'll share all that at the end of the episode. So this is episode 223. It is March 29th. I need to change the date on here for when I recorded that. I wrote these notes on the 27th. It's the 29th. Normally I would have recorded yesterday on a Thursday and this would have went up early this morning. It is a Friday today but we'll talk, we'll talk later about that. Um, it is 8.37 a.m. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Uh, well, I should let you know where you can find me. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady. And I will have links right down below this video in the description box for everywhere that you can find me as well as links to project pages for everything that I'm going to show that has full details, patterns, everything. Um, linked over there. I will have all the shops that I talk about linked below. If you look just right down below the video, the title of the video, hit more and it'll pull some down. I think you now you have to hit more again. I feel like they've made it so complicated, but it'll pull it down the description box for you. So let's just jump in with finished objects. I have two pairs of socks. Two. So the Yes, I finished these first. These ones I finished, I started these on March 15th and finished them on March 24th. This was pair number 20 for the year. This is Mama Jess Knits yarn. It is the Frankly Lisa colorway. So beautiful. I love this yarn. So this one I just did vanilla socks on nine inch circulars using a US zero two millimeter 64 stitches. I did knit two purl two ribbing for the cuff for 20 rounds. I think I did a 60 round leg on these heel and toe from the pattern. These ones are for me keeping these. I love them so much. Okay, I'm gonna hang those over there. This pair is for me as well and <laughs> did some selfish knitting. So this is the March Yarnable colorway. I started these on March 22nd and finished them on March 26th. These ones, so the Yarnable I get fingering weight. These I did fingering weight held double using my DK weight vanilla sock pattern, which is a free pattern that's available on Ravelry. I did US 3, 3.25 millimeter, Needles, Magic Loop, 48 stitches. I did 10 rounds, Knit 2 Pearl 2 for the cuff, 20 rounds for the leg. I made them a little shorter. And they turned out so good. The lighting's a little weird this morning, but we're going with it. <laughs> yeah, I love these. They work up so quick. DK or Fingering Weight Hold Double Socks, so fast. Those are my two finished objects works in progress. I have two pairs of socks. So I finally cast on the March Christmassy club colorway from Freckled Whimsy. I have it in a bag from Midwest Stitches. Love these bags with a little window on them. I have one sock done. So the yarn for March, let me show you the tag. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait just a second. You guys, I have another finished object. Let's pause this. <laughs> How did I forget these? I need to write this on here. So I also finished the something in the orange socks that I was knitting for Wyatt. So the March Yarnable socks was pair 21 for the year. That's the most recent finished one. The something in the orange I finished before the Mama Jess socks. Let's just confuse everyone here. I'm gonna confuse myself too. Um, uh, let's see, I started those on March 8th, 
finished them on March 22nd. I will put a picture up here. These were for my son Wyatt and I have already given them to him. This was Tia's Terrific Threads, something in the orange colorway. I used my vanilla socks on nine inch, US zero, two millimeter, um, 64 stitches. Same as the Mama Jess pretty much, only I did 40 rounds for the leg. Why it likes a shorter leg. I meant to do 50, but for some reason I only did 40, so it's fine. <laughs> he, he still likes it. Um, I cannot believe I forgot those. It's because they're not down here. And this, the past few days have been crazy. Okay, so back to, back to works in progress. Freckled Whimsy. Christmassy Yarn Club, um, fingering weight, 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. It is called Reindeer Games. And I am doing my heel toe do -si do pattern. So for the Freckled Whimsy, I get the sock set with fingering weight and a mini skein. So I use the mini for the cuff and the heel. There's the first sock. Got all my markers over here counting my rounds. I do have a video for how and why I do that here on my YouTube. Look at my little Grinch Progress Keeper. This is from The Littlest Charm Co. So cute. And I have the second sock started. I just started it last night. So not much done. I finished the cuff this morning and got two, four, five rounds done on the leg. <laughs> Knitting these magic loop. Let me show you the front so you can see what the pattern looks like. Oh, I love heel toe do -si do and self-striping. It's such an easy two round pattern. Love it. It looks great in all yarns, but self-striping, it just is perfect for that. US1, 2.25 millimeter, 64 stitches, knit two purl two ribbing. That's definitely my favorite ribbing, if you can't tell. <laughs> my next sock work in progress is brand new. You guys have not even seen the yarn here on the podcast. It is something that arrived in the mail. And the bag is brand new too. This is from Three by the Sea Designs. Love this bag. All of this is three by the sea designs, <laughs> the pattern, the yarn, all of it. So the yarn I'm using, there's their tag. This is their Serene sock set. Serene is the main skein. Butterfly Garden is the mini skein. And I actually have a full skein of DK Weight Butterfly Garden coming today. Pretty sure I ordered DK Weight because it's, it's so good. So here's the yarn, Serene, and then Butterfly Garden. Look how pretty that is. I couldn't resist and I was gonna get fingering weight and I was like, no, you have been wanting more DK weight socks for those super cold days in the winter. So I ordered a DK weight of it. I'm also doing Three by the Sea Designs Serene sock pattern. And that's from Three by the Sea as well not sponsored, but all this myself, just love them so much. Love their yarn, all of their, all of their stuff. So this pattern is such an easy to memorize, easy to do textured sock pattern. Highly recommend. They have it in fingering and DK weight. I did a pop of color at the cuff. I have a tutorial here on YouTube for how I do that. I think I linked it on the project page for this and then use the butterfly garden for the rest of the cuff, 20 rounds total. And now I'm just working on the leg. I had made this crazy goal to try to get the freckled whimsy and the serene socks done by the end of the month, this, this month. It's not happening. I'm focusing on the freckled whimsy right now. I'll for sure probably have those done, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Let's show Wyatt's sweater. This is, is it Sauvin? Safe Sauvin? I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> By Megan Babin. I am using Swish, Nitpick Swish Worsted Weight and Pinecone Heather. And I am still on the back. I'm ready to start the underarm 
shaping, I believe. I Well, I have a few more rows and then I'm ready to start. That's where I was last week. So I've gotten that much done. I did not get to work on this yesterday. So I'm hoping today to get those four rows added in. I'm still trying to do four rows a day. But yeah, that's where I was last week. Here's the full back. Following the pattern exactly. Needle size recommended, all the things. Got my marker moved up, so we'll see what I get done this week. <laughs> kind of a quick update on all the projects, I guess, but on that for sure. I did bring my two blankets down. They did not get touched yesterday either, <laughs> but I will show them, show you what progress. Oh, you know what? I don't think I moved my marker last week, did I? No, I did not. Let's grab that. So this is my fingering weight jelly roll blanket that I'm going to show first. It is a pattern by Kay Jones. I have made some modifications and changes to the pattern and I did list all of those on my Ravelry project page. I'm going to show two um, jelly roll blankets. I'll just go ahead and say all that <laughs> to start. Two jelly roll blankets. This one is fingering weight. The other one is fingering weight held double. Um, she does have instructions for DK weight or fingering hole double in the pattern now, but you can find all of my notes, needle sizes, everything listed on my Ravelry project pages for these. So last time, I think I was like down here somewhere, maybe. I can't remember. I know I had started this strip. So this week, I guess, since last Thursday. I have that up to here. I do not have, I was trying to get everything from this bag added in in the month of March. So I have four more five-ish gram balls of yarn to add in and that little bit there for what was my goal for March. I don't know that it's going to happen. Right now, the focus is definitely the freckled whimsy, and then then we'll see where we go. That's not bad progress for one week. Pretty good. Now, the DK weight one. Oh, and I should say these are all just fingering weight scraps, leftovers from projects, things from friends. This is just an all, like, whatever kind of a blanket. <laughs> the scrappier, the better. Oh, I did not show the bag for that. This one is in a bag... Well, they're both bags by Awesome Granny. The bag for this one. And here's the bag for the DK. The DK weight one, I've been using row one minis as well as some of my Homespun House Patreon minis when I was getting those. And I'm working on the border. I have finished three, yes, three corners. So I only have one more corner to do. I'm using Knit Picks Stroll Fingering Held Double, since the blanket is all fingering weight held double. And I'm doing an I-cord border. Oh, that's the back side. Let's show the front side. Doing an I-cord border. Here's where I'm at. I'm on the bottom of the blanket now. Here's the corner that I just finished. I had um, some people ask on Instagram how to do a corner when you're doing an I-cord border. I have a tutorial on my YouTube. I will make sure that it's linked on this project page that goes over how to do the border, how I do the corners, all of that. It's just on a little, I did like four squares, mitered squares together like in a little coaster and it just shows it on that. But I show you how to do the corners, how to do the border, I talked last week about new needles. I have needle stop stoppers on there from Yarnable, but I used, I was using bamboo, clover bamboo last week. And I ordered chow goo. I don't think I had them when I recorded the episode last week, but the chow goo, no, I think I got them that day actually. Metal chow goo has made such a difference. <laughs> so much of a difference. Also just working on 
anything but the bind off has helped as well. The doing it into where I cast on is not as tricky as the bind off because the bind off was tighter. That was really the issue. And then when you get to the sides, if you do it like, sorry, I just shook the camera. If you do your edges, when you start and finish every single row, how I have noted on my project page, it makes the world of difference for one, just when you're attaching your strips, but two, for when you go back to do a border, if you're doing a border. The sides, it just flies. It's so easy to see where to pick up. You're not trying to pick up in a garter edging. Highly recommend this for your cozy memories and for your jelly roll blankets. I think that's it. I feel like I flew through that. <laughs> just only been 18 minutes. Yes, that was very quick to go through all of my projects. So that's kind of all that I've been working on. Um, yeah, I haven't touched anything else. I didn't even really work on that much scrappy wise on Sunday. I need to work on my cozy memories and my crochet granny stripe to get the yarns added in for the month of March. But I think I'm going to be behind on some things for just a while. So um, mail, let's do that first. I was going to say reading and watching and life stuff, but let's do mail first because I got a surprise package in the mail from Leap of Faith Yarns. She sent over two skeins of yarns, yarns, <laughs> two skeins of yarn. <laughs> she said to keep one and use one for a giveaway. So this one is called Pastures of Peace. And this one is warm by the fire. So we have both of these and we're going to do a giveaway on this episode. So all you have to do is comment down below. It's open worldwide. Any comment will do. And I will draw a winner when I record the next episode and the winner can pick which one they would like to come to their house. <laughs> And I should say they are both on fingering weight. Both fingering weight sock, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. I love them both. I love the greens in this one. And then I love like the orangish in this one for the fire. So, so beautiful. All right. Reading. We're, we're done with the knitting very quickly today. You will see why in just a few moments. <laughs> reading. I finished reading Engaged to a Serial Killer by Stina Holmes. And I also finished It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I really liked both of them. It Ends With Us. Oh man, I thought, well, Verity by Colleen Hoover. I've talked about that in the past about how it is just one of my all-time favorite books as far as like a psychological twisty what did I just read kind of a book. And this one was so different from that. I did not know what to expect going into it. I don't think I've read any other books by Colleen Hoover other than Verity. I don't think. Um, this one was different and it was amazing. It was so good. So, so good. I immediately, after I finished that, that's book one in a series of two. I don't know if there's going to be any more or not, but I know there's two. I finished It Ends With Us and then I started It Starts With Us. So I'm currently reading that and that's my Before I Go to Sleep at Night book. And then I started on the treadmill on my Kindle, Sworn to Silence by Linda Castillo. And that is book one in the Kate Burkholder series. I think there's like 14 or 16 books in that series. It's about a chief of police in Amish country, Ohio. It's been really good so far. It is definitely a murder category. So if you're not into that kind of stuff, it might not be for you, but I am really enjoying it. Watching, we are still watching The Chosen. I know we're into season two, but I do not know what episode. I know I saw it last night, but I've already forgotten. I saw it pop up on the screen. <laughs> But I've already forgotten, but we are into season two and we are really enjoying that. We are watching it on, I think we're watching it on Amazon. Pretty sure. Life stuff. 
there's a lot. So let's just start with like the tiny things first. We had family in town over this past weekend. We had my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law in town and went to a PBR event and it was such a good weekend. They got here on Saturday, went home um, later on Sunday. It was a really good weekend. The boys are on spring break this week and we got a puppy. We got a puppy. <laughs> Do you see yourself in there? Oh, thank you for the kisses. So this is Piper. She is a 11 week old pit mix. We're not exactly sure. That's what the Humane Society had her listed as was a pit mix. She's just the cutest. She has piranha puppy teeth, but she has great puppy breath. She smells so good. And she's the sweetest little thing. Aren't you? Let's get your bone. She loves her Nyla bone. They are a lifesaver for having puppies. Um, so let's see. So Piper came to be with our family on Wednesday. We saw her on Sunday. I should say, I should start all this by saying, <laughs> if you've been around for a while, we do, right now we have two dogs. We have Dexter and Gracie. So we saw, I think it was Eric actually sent me that they were having a thing at PetSmart where they have puppies. And he just kept saying, we're not getting another dog. We're not getting another dog. Well, I was like, I just want to go look at the puppies. <laughs> I had seen this little one's picture um, on the Facebook post. And they had her name listed as Fern. We did change it to Piper. But they had it listed as Fern. Can you hear that? Oh, those puppy teeth. And we get there, we saw her, she was in the pen with her other little litter mates and I asked if I could hold her. So I snuggled her, she gives great snuggles. And then we left. Eric pet her a little bit, he didn't wanna hold her. We left, I said, I cannot believe you did not want to bring that puppy home. She looks like a dog that we used to have named Sadie. She was our first dog we ever got when we got married. We got her at nine months old and she was a pit mix as well. And she was the best dog, the best. So she looks like our Sadie girl. <laughs> Those are some, some great kisses. Here. <laughs> so I couldn't believe Eric didn't want to get her because she looks so much like Sadie. Um, and that was kind of the end of it. We we talked a little bit about her on and about how cute she was on Sunday. And then Monday morning, he sent me pictures of, it was like a screenshot of a Facebook post they had made where they posted pictures of the puppies that got adopted. And was like, oh, you know, Fern, Fern's not on there. She's still on the website. So she must not have gotten adopted after we left. I was like, oh man, you know, she's so sweet. Someone needs to adopt her. And then Tuesday, I said the same thing. She's still there. Someone needs to adopt her. <laughs> Wednesday, I checked the website and she was gone. She was not listed on the website anymore. So I text Eric and I was like, oh, Fern is not on the website. I am so excited that she got adopted. I said, but I'm kind of sad because I was kind of hoping that she, you know, we would end up adopting her. Then about three o'clock, I'm sitting on the couch knitting, knitting away on a sock. <laughs> oh, you're going down now, huh? Knitting away on a sock. The front door opens and in comes Eric with Fern, with this little one. He just, he just walks in the door with her. He had been talking to them since Monday and he just walked in the door with her. And she's just the cutest. Oh, yes. Yes, Piper. You're just so cute. You're just so cute. She's so sweet. Um, De oh, puppy teeth. <laughs> Dexter and Gracie love her. Okay, let's get to bone. Let's get to bone. Dexter and Gracie love her. Um, well, let's rephrase that. Dexter loves her. Gracie tolerates her. Gracie is, like I said, she's our grandma. She's, she's old and she's kind of like, I'm going to put this down so you guys can see her. 
she's kind of like, what have you all done? <laughs> <laughs> she, the first day that Eric brought, one Wednesday when he brought her home, Gracie followed her around the yard, tail wagging. But then it was like once she realized Fern is here to stay and Fern wants to go in my crate with me, Gracie's kind of like, all right, pup, you got to chill. Like no more, um, no biting at my tail. Gracie is a Pomeranian mix and Fern likes to bite at her tail when it, swishes back and forth <laughs> but Dexter I feel like Dexter has met his match they are gonna have so much fun together I cannot wait until she's a little bigger and they can just full force play with each other right now we have to you know we're keeping her on a leash outside working on potty training and um just reminding him to be easy because he He's a little dog, but he can be pretty rough. He, he goes full force. Um, you really went down, don't you? Hmm? You're, there's lots of new stuff in here to sniff, huh? <laughs> so, the, yeah, this is this is Piper. Oh dear, those puppy teeth. <laughs> I just wanted to get her from Eric because he's home today. I didn't record yesterday because of this. I haven't gotten as much knitting done because of because of this. She's like. And I went up to get her, Eric's working from home, and he was like, she finally just calmed down. <laughs> but you're not calm now. You're not calm now. But yes, this is, this is Piper. I'm sure you'll be seeing her here and there. Um, if you're in the area, they did have more of her litter mates still up for adoption. If you're looking for a little pup, mom is still there as well someone dropped mom and five puppies off oh. <laughs> um all right we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wrap this up piper wants to go play oh yes she says i want down i think he would probably steal yarn we gotta work on that she hasn't tried yet i've been knitting with her in my lap because i feel like that's something people will ask i've been knitting with her in my lap and she We'll sniff the yarn, um, but as soon as she seems interested in it, I redirect her with a Nyla bone or with a toy. That was what I did with Dexter. I started immediately working on things with him in my lap, and he just kind of got to where he doesn't really care. He doesn't like if, like, there's a yarn tail hanging down and it tickles him. But other than that, he doesn't mess with my yarn. So we're working on that with her, too, hoping that works good. Redirection is a lifesaver. Lots of Nyla bones, lots of toys. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. So we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to go play with Piper. No biting. No biting. Bite this. <laughs> There's just too much down here. She has not been in this room yet either, so. Puppy teeth. But yes, she's doing well, settling in nicely. We're going to go play. I hope that you guys are doing good. Can you say bye, Piper? Say bye. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Yeah, hope you guys are doing good. Hope you get lots of knitting done. And oh, that's, oh, that's a good yawn. And I'll see you guys next week. Until then, happy making. Bye.